You! Stop right there! Good morning, sir. Pardon me, but why am I not allowed to walk around here? Because it's private. Well, I only wanted to meet the artistes. Hmm? You're wanting to apply for... Nah. You don't look like the type of uh, artistic lock picker that we're looking for. You might be surprised. What? Nah. I don't think so. Clear off. Stay where you are. What are you doing here, and where is Sherlock Holmes? Calm down, Watson. Take deep breaths now. It's me. Oh, thank God, Holmes. I can't get used to your disguises. Thank you, Watson. That means I am ready to go. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Nigel. I'm here to open the locks. Talented, eh? Let's see. Go inside the marquee and show yourself to Charles Foley. And I'd highly advise you not to trick him. Got that? I've got it. Everything is here, just as you asked. And what about the money? Some of the barrels are wet. Transportation issues, it couldn't be helped. Whatever. We'll be here after midnight to pick up the supplies. I want to be paid first. No. You'll be paid after we make the transfer, as I said. Right. I hope that no one saw you. The police are on the lookout. Of course not. I'm a professional. Glad to hear it. Be ready for tonight, then. This wooden barrel is damaged. It is difficult to say what is inside. This wooden... There is a spot on this barrel that was intentionally painted out. The crest of the Honorable Artillery Company. Could it be gunpowder? I need to be sure. Judging by the fractions and the scent, I can confirm that it is, in fact, gunpowder. The barrels are roughly clustered. It seems as though they were brought here in a hurry. This printing press is old, but still quite capable of printing hundreds of pages per day. That's a picture of a contemporary gentleman wearing a Robin Hood hat. Interesting. From lambs into lions, those are words of encouragement and defiance. This poster was clearly made to fire up rebellion amongst the people. Hmm, there are enough posters to paste across half of London's walls. powder kegs, a printing press, and a great many blank papers. All of this was stolen by the Merry Men quite recently. And these poster samples. I am quite sure it is not a coincidence. The Merry Men are planning some sort of sabotage. Stop right here. Who are you? Are you Charles Foley? Maybe. They say that I can open any door. Do they now? We'll see that lock near the chains on a table over there. Open that.
her right. What's your name? Nigel Shirley, from York. Ah, Nigel from York. Never heard anything about you. How'd you hear about me? Nigel from York. Never heard anything about you. How'd you hear about me? It's a long story. I met your brother, Vincent the Butcher Foley, in prison. He told me all about his betrayal and all about you. Before I was released, he told me that you might find a job for me one day and pay me some money for my craft. Well, he died. Seven days ago, in prison. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. The traitor has paid the blood price for it. And you'll do the job anyway, because I need a talented lock picker. I know just where to search for his legacy. It's all about the Hellenistic treasures, isn't it? Osh, you fool. Now, listen up. You'll come with us tonight, and you better mind yourself. Us? Wait, who's coming then? Billy, Jack and me. And what will I get for that? We'll share the loot. The one you seem to know about. Right. Wait for us at the abandoned manor house on a corner of Ledbrook Grove and Kensington Park Road at midnight. Deal. Here I am at the manor. Somewhere inside it are the Hellenistic treasures. This lock is quite old. It shouldn't be much of a challenge. I need to find where the safe is hidden and lock pick it. This cupboard is an absolute mess. Several books have fallen from the shelves. It seems as though this cupboard can be moved. I'll give it a try. So, that's the lock I must open tonight. Let me see. surprise. Another lock. Hmm. And I won't be able to pick it. I recall that precious key around Foley's neck. It might prove a decent fit. I suppose they hired me to only open the first lock. Let us wait for the thieves, trap them, and find out. Let us check the thieves' possible escape routes in the event that they are caught off guard by the police from the front door. This door is a perfect means of escape in an emergency. A solid rope.
This door leads to a kitchen, which holds the shortest route to the back door. This should be useful. The door is now blocked. The door is now blocked. this old chandelier is doing on the floor. It looks as though it was poorly attached. I suppose that the thieves already tried to open the lock with this formidable hammer, but they were unsuccessful. a perfect way to escape the police. This should be useful. takes the hammer, the rope will uncoil and make the chandelier fall. If he runs through the dining room and takes a sledgehammer to force open the door, the chandelier will knock him down. No one will escape through this window now. There is no ladder. If anyone falls here, he will need assistance to get out. This hatch leads to a cellar. This window is high above the ground. It would be possible for one of the thieves to attempt to use it for their escape. This should be useful. and our thief will go flying. I should walk carefully here, else my plan will be ruined. <laughs> 